Welcome back to Canadian Political Clips, your source for the latest insights into the world of Canadian politics. Today, we're diving into the ongoing debate surrounding the carbon tax and its implications for Canadians. Vashi Kapos sheds light on the heated discussions in Ottawa, where Prime Minister Justin Trudeau faces mounting pressure to engage with provincial premiers on the contentious issue of the carbon tax. Despite opposition calls for dialogue, Trudeau remains steadfast, citing a previous meeting with premiers in 2016. Trudeau's stance sparks criticism from all sides, with Conservatives blasting the carbon tax as a burden on Canadians' wallets. Former Conservative House leader Andrew Scheer slams the tax as ineffective and argues for alternative solutions to combat climate change without imposing hefty costs on citizens. Meanwhile, NDP's environment critic Laurel Cobbins navigates a delicate balance, supporting the motion for Trudeau to meet with premiers, while also highlighting flaws in the Liberal government's approach to climate action. Cobbins calls for a comprehensive suite of policies to address the climate crisis, including measures to ensure fairness and equity for all Canadians. Vashi delves deeper into the debate, questioning the effectiveness of Trudeau's carbon tax in achieving its intended goals. Critics argue that the tax disproportionately affects lower-income households and fails to deliver meaningful emissions reductions. The discussion reveals stark differences in party positions, with Liberals defending their carbon tax as a necessary tool for fighting climate change, Conservatives advocating for its repeal, and the NDP urging for a more balanced approach that prioritises both environmental sustainability and economic fairness. As tensions escalate in Parliament, Canadians are left grappling with the implications of Trudeau's carbon tax and the government's refusal to entertain alternative solutions. With the next election looming on the horizon, the debate over climate policy is set to take centre stage, shaping the political landscape for years to come. That wraps up today's segment of Canadian Political Clips. Stay tuned for more updates on the issues that matter most to Canadians. Until next time, stay informed and engaged in the political process.